Hello, my name is John Boring, spelled just like it sounds. I want to welcome you to a series of online videos about interviewing candidates. Our topic today will be about using behavioral interview questions to validate your gut feeling about a candidate. All of these videos are brought to you by the website Talentron.com. Studies have shown that the lasting first impression is formed in as little as one-tenth of a second and as long as a few seconds. But regardless of the actual time it takes, the first impression is formed very quickly and in a blink of an eye, it's a lasting memory. If this is true, why don't interviews just last for a few seconds? Well, because the accuracy of first impressions can be called into question. Think of a time when you formed a first impression about someone and later discovered you were wrong. Hiring strictly using gut feel is what we call the falling in love hiring strategy. Far too much hiring today is done this way. It is too often based on the first impression or gut feeling one has after spending 30 minutes with a candidate. After many years in talent acquisition, I found my instincts to be quite accurate. So accurate, I began to trust them implicitly. However, I remember an occasion when I was interviewing a candidate. I walked into the lobby, took one look at him, and my instincts told me he was not the right person for the job. By this time he'd seen me and there was no way I was going to make a clean getaway. After the obligatory cup of coffee we began to talk. I was sure this was going to be 30 minutes out of my life I would never get back. We started in with some polite introductory conversation. I probably even said something as deeply probing as tell me a little bit about yourself. After a few minutes I took the opportunity to ask some behavioral questions just to keep the conversation interesting. To my surprise some of his experiences were not obvious on his resume and they were very interesting to me. To my complete surprise, the hiring manager had the same experience and eventually we wound up making him an offer. Go figure. Best way to handle this problem in an interview has two steps to it. It's our version of trust but verify. First, when you meet a candidate, notice and pay attention to your immediate impression of them. Pay attention to that first impression of a candidate and learn to trust it as it may have an element of truth in it. Next, use behavioral interview questions to get beneath the prepared or practiced answers. Use these behavioral questions to verify your initial gut feeling. Behavioral interview questions are designed to eliminate the superficiality of an interview that is typically based on first impressions and gut feelings. Use behavioral interview questions to determine if the candidate's experience is deep enough for the role you have. Do this by asking the candidate to recall an experience from their past that is similar to the situation they will be facing in this potential role. The moral of my story is that I never go into an interview now without a few prepared behavioral interview questions. Having these makes the interview much more interesting for me and more challenging for the candidate. Not to mention, I find out a whole lot more about the person than just asking, tell me a little bit about yourself. By the way, this guy's still a friend of mine today. Remember to visit Talentron.com for lots of help in interviewing more effectively. Happy hiring!